Hello everybody, this is the Benjinator, and you are watching Let's Play Saga Frontier. Woohoo! Uh, so it is, uh, December 25th, 2014, so this is the Christmas edition. Ho, ho, ho. So this is actually part 7, and, uh, so last time on Red's Quest, we, uh, we actually got dropped off. Our boss let us go. Hawk decided that he, uh, well, Red decided that he could not stay on the Cygnus any longer, and he had to strike out on his own to go look for Black X. So this is the part of the game where you actually are able to, uh, well, you're, you're essentially able to do all of the, to initiate the four steps. And of course, what is that first step? Well, the first step is either to go to the, uh, sunken ship and the, ru the ruined ship or get some loot, or it is to gather your party. And so we are actually going to be gathering our party for Red's Quest. I'm going to be showing you some of the characters that you can get, and probably actually some of the other characters that, if you want, you can get into your party and use them if you like, but you don't have to. And I'm just going to be using what I believe is the suggested party. So, anyway, the first place you actually want to go is Devon, which is where we are now. This is the first place to go. Um, and so, you can either do the rune quest like you did last time but for this particular quest i am actually going to be going in the other direction and that is to go uh, go to the arcane quest which is in my opinion a little bit more interesting um it's not it's not the preferred magic type i actually prefer rune magic by a pretty significant amount however arcane magic will give you different party members from last time and will give you access to different ones so arcane magic um kind of has similar, you know, some of it is boost magic, some of it attacks, some of it attacks, but, um, let's, let me show you just a couple of the spells. Arcane magic. We're not really doing this so much for the, for the spells as much as we are just getting the party members, but I figure I might show off some of them because I know that in Blue's quest, we didn't really go into them a whole lot. So, uh, you know, for example, there's the saber card. This one just does some kind of standard damage, uh, but uh, for the most part, it's really it's really not that great. If you have a magic user and you have a magic chain, that's a whole lot better. Um, yeah, this the shield card, which I actually kind of like. Shield card's pretty nifty. What it does is it actually increases your defense. This one is significantly more useful, in my opinion, than some of the other cards that you can get. There's the Grail card, which uh, which heals all uh, your yeah. It's, it's it's essentially a heal spell. It uh, removes all status afflictions. Even though it's completely pointless that I'm doing this on BJ and K because he cannot get hit by any status afflictions. But that's of course beside the point. So uh, anyway, uh, let's use. Let me show you the gold card too. This is actually probably the most useless, one of the more useless spells in the game. Because this um, makes enemies distracted for a while. Um, it rarely ever works, and it uh, I think it like delays their speed by a tiny bit, so it's absolutely not worth it. So anyway, what you do want to do, after you've seen this brief and comical demonstration, is to ask about the gift. To acquire the gift of Arcane Magic, collect all four cards in various regions. Does this sound familiar? Well, it should. It's uh, essentially what you had to do for the runes. So, shield card is an Irpul. So, you remember we went there in Blue's quest and absolutely nothing happened? Well, now, we can actually get it. But in Red's quest, it's actually even easier. And I'll show you how that happens. Uh, Bakara. So, the casino. Uh, Yorklin. Eh, nice place where, uh, apparently loot is from. And the saber card is in Wakatu. Remember, that's the place we couldn't actually get to before. So, that... So, here's your four locations. Places that we didn't really get to investigate as blue. So, now we're going to be able to see these places. And maybe run to a couple more uh, party members at the same time. Alright. Woohoo! Alright, thank you. So, now, uh, the next place we actually want to go is to Luminous. The place where we can get light and shadow magic. So, I will see you in Luminous. Alright, so here we are in Luminous. And... Look at that. Look who it is! We thought he was gone. We thought maybe he had gone off to fight his twin brother, but that is our actually, yep, that's our friend Rouge. And so what you want to do is he's going to ask you if you're searching for the gift, and you're going to say, yes, because why not? And so now he joins you and becomes a permanent party member. 
And so, yes, I strongly recommend that you use Rouge, because he essentially, he starts off, if you look at his equipment, he's got the same stuff that Blue does, actually, at the beginning of his quest, but you might notice that he actually has 185 HP instead of 125. That's because in the previous quest, because you beat it with a specific battle rank, some of your party members that you get are actually a little bit more powerful, so Rouge is a little bit boosted than he would be. So I would strongly recommend that you actually use Rouge for the sake of uh, this particular quest, uh, because Rouge is just, he rocks. He is, uh, he's the most powerful magic user in the game, and even though you'll never get blue status where he's godlike and has all that JP and, you know, 99 will, you can still pump him up pretty well. So, where to next? Well, the next place we actually want to go, as you might imagine, is that saloon and scrap where you can get all those juicy party members. So, let's go to there. Okay, so, uh, we're obviously not in scrap. This is actually in Manhattan, but there is another party member that we can actually get before going to scrap. And that is not this guy, although this guy will be important later on. Uh, not in this quest, though. But look, it's Fuse! Remember, he helps us out on the ship. Remember, uh, if you talk to him as Blue, he just tells you to go away because he's on his break. But now, yeah, he's been waiting for us. So now we're going to go after Campbell. Well, maybe later, but now we got Fuse as a permanent party member. And uh, as you can see, he still has all the, the nice stuff they did last time. So yeah, we got, we got uh, our friend Red, we got BJ and K, we got Rouge, and we got Fuse. And now we're going to get our final party member. Um, but I'll also be showing you some of the other ones you can get, so I will be right back. Okay, so obviously, once again, we are not in scrap, so I had to take another detour. Before you go into scrap, you want to talk to the skeleton right here, because remember, he says, he talks about a guy who uses a steel pipe like a sword, and the only sword with a skill like that is in Wakatu, so he actually gives you a hint. So now, because you have initiated the card quest, you ask, where can you find him? And he says, he must be in scrap, getting drunk as usual. And what does he look like? Headband and a t-shirt. I think we've seen someone like that before. So now we can finally go to Scrap. Looking for a guy named Jen. We'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. In our favorite little bar in Scrap, where you can pick up so many party members. And so remember, this guy, who didn't talk to us last time, well now, he's gonna say something. <laughs> good, uh, good guess, he is wearing a headband. <laughs> Seems pretty drunk. Wakadu Castle. All right. <laughs> he doesn't remember. He's had a lot to drink. All right, perfect. Mhm. Mm All right, awesome. So he's gonna help us out. I think we are good enough to get the card. All right, so now Jen is in the party. So this is the party that I'm gonna be using for this game. And just to review, we got Fred, of course. We got BJ and K, our mech. We got Rouge, his cousin, his French cousin, cousin. Ha ha ha. We got Fuse, our uh, buddy, our cop buddy from the ship, and a drunk samurai, ninja, sword master. But anyway, Jen, I should show you, is awesome. Because look at all this stuff he's got. He's already got four or five sword techniques, and actually, yeah, he's got cross slash too, so might as well put that on him. So he already starts out with a crown, which is great, and he's got deflect. So Jen is probably your best swordsman in the game, so he is great to have. But there are a couple of other party members that we can pick up as well. For example, we can, uh... I don't think that we can actually get T260G, which is a shame. What about Mei Ling? What does she say? Yeah, I guess not. What about Riki? Hmm. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> apparently these, these three cannot join us, but if you desire, Loot over here will join you. And Loot is, uh... Loot is willing to join you in any case. He's just, uh... He's just that kind of guy, so if you want to use loot, you can. I'm not going to be using him this time just for the sake of variety. But there is another party member that I would like to show you just before we move on. So let me actually uh, go to Kyo, like we did last time, so I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are in the city of Kyo, of course. A place that, you know, for the most part, we haven't seen a lot of action in. But actually, if you go to the garden here, you'll find somebody else. Look at that little happy, uh, flying, floaty blob thing. It's actually a robot. Searching for metal black base. Then come with us. Well, that was easy. Yeah, so we actually have the character Rabbit in this party, and so let's actually look at him. Um, he's actually pretty useful. He's got uh, a lot of stuff. He's got a laser cannon, just like BJ and K. He's got a bit system. 
and an ECM system, and these all these things will uh, fire bullets and actually be able to block missiles, which are pretty cool. So, if you want to have two mechs in your party, you can absolutely do that. That is, uh, that's actually not a bad idea, since you can actually make mechs pretty overpowered, but I think for the sake of this game, I usually like to only have one non-human in my party. Um, you can do whatever you want. If you want to have a complete party of mechs, which is actually something I'm going to be doing for the final quests in this game, you can do that. If you want to throw in monsters, that's fine as well. Remember too that because you have loot in your party, you can go to Yorkland and recruit Thunder. So there's a lot of stuff that you can actually do, um, and there's a lot of party members you can get. And there's actually going to be more, as you'll see when we do the, the card quest. So anyway, now that we've gotten our party, I'm going to be doing the next couple of steps off screen, which means going to the wreck shit to get some loot, um, to economizing, doing tokenomics, getting all the best weapons and starting to power up a little bit. But actually what's going to happen in the next video that I'm going to be showing is that I'm going to be showing you what happens if you decide to do the shadow instead of the light quest. And then we're going to be starting on the card quest. So um, we're going to be taking kind of an extended break from the actual storyline. I'm going to be showing you a couple of the other side quests in this game. So anyway, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Uh, this is the Benjinator with Let's Play Saga Frontier Red's Quest, and I'll see you later.